You're watching Destiny Church. Live your call, fulfill your destiny. Boy, let's just continually desire for God. <clears throat> oh, we just hunger for more of you. Lord, I pray that tonight, Lord, you will show us, you will reveal to us, Lord God, how much you, how much you have been pursuing us, Lord. Lord, let there be a revelation, Lord God, of of your love and of your pursuit for us, of your desire for us to know you. God. More than, Lord God, our, more than our de own desire, Lord God, to know you, Lord, it is your desire for us that me, we may know you, God. Lord, help us realize, Lord God, that indeed it is your goodness, Lord, that is running after us, Lord. Oh, God. Your goodness, Lord, that is running hard after us, Lord God. Lord, allow us to see, Lord God, Lord, allow us to see your faithfulness. Lord, your faithfulness, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want you to meditate on God's faithfulness over your life. Even in the midst, look, even in the midst sometimes of our unfaithfulness, in the midst of our failing. Lord, I want you to think about how, how God has been seeking you out and has been pursuing you. He has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten you. It is his goodness. And His grace that has continually pursued you. His heart is for you. of God. God has been continually pursuing you. His goodness is running after you. Think about it. I want you to think about it. Think, I want you to think about it. I want you to think of all the times that God's goodness has just continually been pursuing you. Your goodness is running out. 
goodness of God in your life. Uh, even, even when we're bad, even when we are even trying to run away from God. You know, God is just in His faithfulness pursuing us, showing us that He loves us. That is, that is the character of God. Even when we're already running away from Him, even when we're trying to escape His love, He has always been there. He has never left us. He continually pursues us. He shows His grace to you. He shows His love for you. Reveal to us your heart, your heart for us. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord. Flood us right now with your presence, Lord. Lord, wherever this, Lord, wherever this, this streaming, Lord God, is, is reaching, Lord, whatever place this stream is reaching right now, I pray, Lord God, that you will begin to touch us, Lord, personally, individually. Lord, a fresh touch from you, Lord God, for those of us, Lord, who has not felt your touch lord god for the longest time lord god show show us lord that you have you have not abandoned us lord that you are you are right now lord reaching to reaching out to us continually pursuing us in the name of jesus in jesus name in jesus name god has not abandoned you god has not forgotten you god has continually been pursuing you pray for your grace Lord to speak your word Lord override our preparation override my preparation Lord and Lord just begin to speak personally to each one of us show us your heart a heart that is towards us not against us a heart that continually seeks us a heart that wants wants us to know you and so we commit to you this time Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen if you are not seated no, uh, you can take your seats right now Good evening, everyone, and uh, today is the first night of our week of fire. Now, for those of you who might be joining us for the very first time, it has been our practice that every year we start uh, we start the year with with God, and we call this you no know, week. Uh, usually, we do it on the second week of 
second or third week of, of January. And uh, we, we bring the whole church together you know, uh, for a time of really just seeking God, just hungering more for Him, soaking in His presence. You know, and you know, and uh, yes, it's true, we might be under uh, the quarantine, but that doesn't, you know, that we're not going to allow some virus you know, to stop us from seeking God you know, corporately. And uh, that's why, you know, tonight, uh, we, you know, and in, in the next couple of days, you know, next couple of nights, all the way till Friday, you know, we, uh, we continually enjoin you to join us every night. You no, know? don't, don't just watch the replay, though uh, this, is going to be, uh, this is going to be on our website, on our, our pages, you no, know? but, but it, you know, it's, it's better if you could join us right now, you no, know? uh, live, you no, know? so. Uh, allow me to begin uh, you know, uh, this, this word tonight. Uh, in John chapter 17, John chapter 17, verses 3 to 4, and then 6. Jesus is the one speaking here, and uh, this is actually uh, a prayer. Know, that that Jesus prayed you know, uh, several hours before before he died. You know. In fact, uh, this is uh, known as Jesus' high priestly prayer. Let me start with verse three. Sabi dito, and this is eternal life, or this is life eternal, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorify you on earth, having accomplished the work that you have given me to do. Verse 6, I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world. And they were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. You know, uh, just last week, uh, actually, I spent a couple of days together with uh, uh, a few of our satellite pastors, you know, Pastor Sandy and Pastor Sandy and Lotis Padilla from uh, uh, Destiny Alaminos, no, our satellite in Alaminos and Kalashao. And also I invited Pastor Junuel and Rochelle from our, our church in uh, Destiny Cavite, no, together, of course, with, with my wife. No. And we spent time uh, strategizing or, or uh, no, uh, seeking the Lord for His plans for us this year. No. Actually, prior to that, uh, early, uh, early last year, no, in, in 2020, we already had a time of, you know, we had what we call a listening retreat and all the pastors from the different satellites, no, we actually had a time uh, 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 of seeking God as to you know, what God, uh, God would want us to do this year. Okay? And, and one of the things that clearly resonated with us is Know, this this in a way this vision it's it's not really a new vision we have been you know, it has always been in our heart you no know, to uh, uh, our heart for for us to disciple people okay? as a church discipleship has, at, you know, has, has been at the core of 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 uh, what we have been doing uh, but in a way to to rephrase a statement a fresh statement you no know, God has given us this this fresh statement you no know, to know Christ and make Him known. And if there's going to be a theme, a battle cry, a slogan, if you may, you no, know, in uh, this year, but not only this year, but in, I believe that in in, in the years to come, you know, unless God you know, gives us another fresh word, another fresh uh, statement, you no, know, I I I believe that this is something that is central to who we are and what we would like to do to know Christ and make him known. No bakit ito what, what's what's you know uh, what is central to this statement? Ito nga John chapter 17 if if you look at the verse carefully this is what Jesus himself declares no so sabi niya doon and this is life eternal this is eternal life that they may know you. When we, you, when you think about eternity now, when you think about uh, you know, eternal life, we usually think of, of course, 
immortality, no, of of getting to heaven, no. But but then, it, or you know, it, it's a life that is without end. Okay? But interestingly, Jesus doesn't talk about eternal life that way. Okay? He talks about eternal life as what? As specifically knowing God. No, that, that it's not just simply getting to heaven. Although I believe that that's, that's part of it. Of, of, it's not just about, uh, no, of, it's not just about immortality. Okay? I, I, I believe that it is part of it. But more importantly, eternal life has to do with what? Knowing God. Isn't that amazing no, no, that, that Jesus Christ defines eternity, defines eternal life as to what? No, yun nga, to, to know God. Sabi niya, no, no, and this is life eternal that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Okay. And, and, and look at this. No? Sabi niya, I have accomplished, uh, I, I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you have given me to do. So, so, what is Jesus trying to say here? Sabi niya, no, the work, I, I've, I've finished the work. Now, think about this. No? I, I remember years ago when I was in the seminary and uh, uh, my professor, who was also a pastor, no, we were looking, looking at this particular verse. And he asked the class this question. Sabi niya, what, when Jesus said, I have finished the work that you have given me, I have accomplished the work that you have given me to do, what, what, what is that work that Jesus was referring to? And without hesitation and without thinking, I immediately raised my hands and, and gave the answer. The cross. Sabi ko kagad. And my, my professor was very kind to, uh, to explain. Uh, sabi niya, well, uh, if you look at the verse, Jesus said, I've already accomplished it. But then again, when he was saying this, no, he was not yet crucified. So, it could not be the cross because nung panahon na to, hindi pa nga napapako si Jesus. So, apparently, in, or interestingly, the work no, that God gave him to do, that he was referring here, that he says he already has accomplished, wasn't the cross. And upon closer examination, what he was talking about was his disciples. That the work that he has accomplished has to do with discipleship. And, and what is discipleship? When you examine what Jesus was saying here, what he did was what? In fact, I have glorified you by accomplishing this. And, and how did Jesus glorify God? You know, by discipleship. But what, but what is this? What, what do you mean by discipleship here? Look at verse six. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me. In some in some translations, I believe, I have revealed you to the men that you have given me. So what Jesus actually did was to reveal, to make known. No, that, that's that's what he has been saying all along. That that no. Now you, you, you eternal life has been no, has been accomplished in the lives of these people, in the lives of his disciples, primarily, okay? Because what Jesus did was to make God known to them. Now this is interesting, no? Because the disciples were actually Jews, and if there were there was a people that you could say that no God back then. It was probably the Jews. You no, know, God has been, you know, showing Himself strong and, and manifesting Himself. You no, know? I mean, talk about talk about uh, how God revealed Himself to the Israelites. You no, know, in in Egypt, okay, revealing His power. You no, know, showing Himself uh, before Moses. You no, know? I mean, and not only that. You no, know, yung 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 provision ng Lord, yung uh, deliverance ng Lord na ginawa sa time ni Esther sa no kung paano din deliver ng Lord uh, yung mga ta yung, yung mga Israelites sa time ng judges no so 
Here we see a God who has continually revealed himself to the Jews. No? And so if there are people who actually know God, na may pagkakakilan lang sa Diyos, this would have been the Israelites. This would have been and, no, the Jews, which is kasama doon sila Peter, sila John, sila James. No? These were all Jews. But then what is Jesus trying to say here? that what he has done was actually to reveal, to make known God. Apparently, you know, the knowledge of the Jews about God, though amazing, though probably none can compete with that in terms of the knowledge of people all over the world, still falls short of how much God wants to be known. Think about it. Eh, yung, yung pagkakakilala ng mga Jews, despite so, karabi na ka-amazing nun, di ba? Can you imagine if you are one of the Jews who saw the Red Sea open before you and you walk on dry land? I mean, can you not say that, no, that you actually know God and you saw God perform a miracle? Eh, yung mighty deliverance na ginawa ng Lord time ni Esther. No, yung, yung power ng Lord na pinakita niya through David killing Goliath. Yung rebuilding ng wall ng Jerusalem. Eh, that was done by Nehemiah in no, eh, record time. <laughs> And yet, all those things still fall short of how much God wants to reveal Himself. And that's why I think, you know, I, I, I wrote here in my notes, you know, the heart of God has always been to reveal Himself. To reveal Himself to us, to reveal Himself to you. This is, this is the gospel. This is the good news. This is why, this is the very reason why Jesus came. You know, sabi nga, this is a life eternal that they may know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you sent. No? He came to reveal who God is. He came, he came for the purpose that we may know God for it is in knowing Him that, yun nga, that we can experience life eternal. Okay? Now, yun nga, and, and this knowing is not just a mere acknowledgement of God. No, I mean, if you think about it, no, every pe- every person in the world, no, would probably have, okay, somehow a knowledge of God or can even acknowledge God. But this is not that kind of knowing, no. It is a knowing that results. Listen to this. It is a knowing that results into a relationship with Him. Such was the relationship of God with man prior to the fall, no. Y- yun, yung, yun yung disenyo ng Lord eh. If you, if you think about it, no, prior to sin, prior to the fall of Adam and Eve, God's relationship to humanity, to mankind, to Adam and Eve was an intimate one. God walked with man. Man knew God. No? Adam personally knew God. No? God wasn't a stranger to Adam. God was not a vague no vague uh, idea no he 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 personally knew god he talked with god he walked with god but then something happened you know adam no on his own choice disobeyed god and sin came upon man and and what happened was sin severed no severed that that relationship na putol okay. sin Sin has caused, caused us to fall short. No, maybe you know that verse in Romans chapter 3, 23. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. No, in other words, no, our, our own best efforts of even trying to know God, which is what? Religion, good works. No, it, it, it's not enough. It's not enough. And thus, the plan of salvation was set in motion. Right? Because on our own, we cannot redeem ourselves. On, on our own, 
there was no way for us to know God. Na naalala ko tong si if if you know the story si Moses no, nandoon yung desire niya eh. Sabi niya, Lord, I want to I want to see your glory. I want to see your glory, Lord. Exodus chapter 33. And 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 rather than God simply just being delighted, sure, sure Moses, sure I would love for you to see me. And, and I'm sure that's the heart of God. But there was a dilemma. Ano sabi ng Lord? I, I, sabi niya, I, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay? No, sabi ng Lord, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna let my glory pass. But I'm gonna hide you in the cleft of the rock so that you can see my parang my back pants. What, what is that? What is what is God trying to hindi ba masaya si Lord na there was someone who actually wanted to know him more to see his glory? Of course he was delighted. Of course God wanted to show his glory. But there was a dilemma. Moses in his fallen and wretched state, Moses in his sinful state, could not handle it. No, he will. No, he could not handle the knowledge, the glory of God. That's why, sabi ng Lord kay Moses, you can only see my back part. I can just only give you a portion of who I am. But then in Jesus, God becoming flesh reveals, no, a, a revelation. Eh? And, and as I was preparing for this, you know, I, I, I wrote here in my notes, no, ju- thus came Jesus. And I realized Christ was not only Savior. Yes, of course, He is Savior. Yes, He is Redeemer. But He is also the greatest evidence of God's unrelenting pursuit of you and me. Of God's unrelenting, no? Eh, walang, uh, walang putol na pag... Uh, paghabol sa atin no, yung pursuit ng Lord for the purpose of what? That finally, that eventually we can come to a full knowledge of Him. And in that knowledge of Him, we attain life eternal. That's the only way. That's why He has to come. The God Himself has to come in the flesh no, to something that is tangible and relatable to us. Otherwise, yun nga eh. Okay? He had, his glory had to be clothed in human form. Otherwise, no, we, 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 won't, we, we won't be able to comprehend it. But then, if you look at scriptures, it's from the very beginning. In fact, no, in, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 8 to 9, okay? Sabi dyan, when, when the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God walking about in the garden. So they hid from the Lord among the trees. Then the Lord called to man, Where are you? This is, this is interesting, no? This is immediately right after Adam and Eve sinned. And, and we don't see a God that you know, decided he, he knew Adam and Eve sin. He knew they already disobeyed. And rather than I'm, I'm thinking of a God who was angry and, and okay, frustrated with Adam and Eve, just he could have simply decided I have nothing to do with this with his people anymore. No, no, no. God's first words were, Where are you? And it is not even that because he doesn't know where they are. But it shows yung puso ng Diyos na. Yun, despite, Adam and Eve were lost already. They were lost. They, they just sinned. Okay. And, and, and yun nga eh, you know what they did? They ran away. They were actually hiding. No, typical of you and me, di ba? Typical of who we are. No, how many times, no, in this, in this last couple of months, in this pandemic, you've, You've actually done that. You've tried to run away and hide. Okay. And, and some of you, so, some of you probably thought that uh, you know, you, you, you know, you're able to do a good job now because, well, 
no the pastor cannot act the pastor or cell leader cannot actually no go to your house and then follow you up on a more personal level i mean you could just simply evade uh, the text or the the you know the messages in in, in messenger But you see, you can hide from God. Where are you? Where are you? Isn't that interesting? That God, from the very beginning, when Adam and Eve f- f- fell, when they sinned, His heart was to seek them. No, in... In Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1, it's interesting to note that we see here a God who pursues those who are unaware or even unwilling to know Him. Look at, look at Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. Wow. Well, we've always heard the verse that those who seek me will find me, that you have to seek God. But then here we see a verse no, that says that okay, sabi dito, no, I, I revealed myself to them, to those who did not even ask me, even, even of those people who, who don't even desire God. Check this out. No? Maybe, maybe, maybe iniisip mo that the reason you found God is because it has always been you, no, want, wanting God. But is it even possible that, no, you were not even God, you were not even looking for God at that time, but He re- has been revealing Himself to you? I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. Have you ever, ever experienced like you were so into your, no, so into your sin? Okay. Wala na, nag, nag, wawalwal ka na, nagwawala ka na. Tapos biglang, biglang may mababasa kang verse. I mean, that, that, I remember that, that, I remember there was a time that I, no, in, in, in my young, as a young Christian, I, I, I had a, a short stint of, so you could say it, it was backsliding. And of all the places na no naalala ko no, and then no, I was backslide I was my heart was backslid and I decided manonood ako na sine or something no tas naalala ko nanood ako na Lion King eh Lion King uh, very what's this uh, it's not even a bad movie I mean it's, no there's no it's not even a sinful movie or, or anything I was just trying to enjoy myself. Pagkatapos, sabi ni Mufasa doon. <laughs> Parang, nung kinakausap niya si Simba, sayo, Why have you disobeyed me? <laughs> and I was being convicted by the Lord through the words of Mufasa to Simba. <laughs> they were like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sabi ng Lord, di ba sabi ni, ni Mufasa kay Simba, sinabi na huwag kang pumunta dun sa ano eh. Dun sa, ang tawag dun? Yung, 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 where the, where the sun, where the sun doesn't, ka, ano, where the sun doesn't shine. Eh, nasa lobo ko ng sinihan. <laughs> Madilim. <laughs> and I was, I was getting all those weird messages and the Lord was convicting me. It's like, it's crazy. <laughs> anyway. And nga, I, I reveal myself to those who did not even ask for me. I was found by those who did not even seek me. To a nation that did not even call my name, I said, here I am, here I am, here am I. Kami si Lord, di ba? To a nation that, even, that did, did not even try to call my name, God is saying, here am I. Okay. No, this is the heart of God for us, for you, for humanity. God comes calling for us even when we Hey, we when we are in our most des when we are at our most desperate. No, see John Wesley, founder of the Methodist Church. No, 
refer to this phenomenon he coins i'm not sure if if no he coins this uh, it's actually a, a well known ano na ngayon kumaga parang uh, evangelical christian doctrine ano yung tinatawag nilang pre- prevenient grace so ano ibig sabihin ng prevenient grace prevenient grace is a grace that comes before we are even aware and certainly before we are worthy of such an encounter L- listen listen okay, this is so powerful no so John Wesley you know, gives us this idea of what he calls a pre- prevenient grace, which is thou, you no, know, you know, a grace that comes before, okay, before we are even aware, and certainly before we are worthy of such an encounter. Talk about you, for example, you no, know, yung, yung story ni Jacob. Jacob, Jacob was messed up. I mean, you no, know, he, he okay, he lived a dysfunctional he lived dysfunctional yung kanyang pamilya no they were they were favorites no the, the his father no ang favorite yung panganay si Iso siya naman favorite siya nung nanay niya and then you can just imagine how dysfunctional that family was to the point that si Jacob ended up what no deceiving talagang he, he deceived he lied he manipulated no his his father and his brother and, and, and as a result, the, the, his brother vowed, si Esau vowed that he's going to kill Jacob. He's going to kill his brother the moment their father died. Kasi matanda na si, si Esau. Respeto, I mean, respeto na lang kay Jacob. No, parang ganun, sabi ni Esau, I'm just going to wait for, for father to die. And when he dies, I'm going to kill you. And, and Jacob, no, being afraid, sabi doon, he, he ran away. And if you know that story, sabi doon, he was, he was running away. He was trying to escape his sin. He was trying to escape you know, the responsibility. He was trying to escape the justice that was somehow going to pursue him. And, and he was in this place, you know, a desert place. Okay? And, and he just grabbed the stone for a pillow and, and, and uh, you know, natulog siya. And all of a sudden, he has this amazing dream. Hey, in that place, in his dream, no, no, he saw a stairway going up to heaven and angels no, going back and forth. And then on, on top of the stairway was God. And all of a sudden, and, no, and then God spoke to him there and then he woke up. And then he felt the tangible presence of God. And ang ganda nung sinabi niya. Sabi niya doon, I think I... I, I that can be found in uh, Genesis chapter 28, no? verse 18. It's not in my slides, but let me just read it to you. No? Sabi dito, verse, verse 17. No, verse 17. Uh, let's start with verse 16. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, surely the Lord is in this place. And I was not even aware of it. He was not seeking God. He was not trying to find God. And yet God found him. Of all, no, I mean, of all the places that he, would, he, he was thinking of finding God, I mean, it couldn't be in a desert place. It couldn't be in a place when he was so lost. It couldn't be in a place when he was even trying to run away. No? It couldn't be in a place that he was actually in sin or he just sinned. There, there's no way. Yet he wakes up. And the terrible presence of the Lord was there. Surely this, he was caught off guard. Oh my goodness, God. I, I, I'm trying to imagine. Oh my God. You're here. You're actually here. And he was afraid. And, and it, it, it in terror, na in awe. And sabi niya, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. In verse 18, early next morning, Jacob took the stone that he had placed under his head and set it up as a pillar, as an altar, and poured oil on top of it. He called that place Bethel. Okay. Which means a city of God. A house of God. God, 
prevenient grace is a grace that comes before even when we are aware of it even before we actually deserve it no si AW Tozer in his in his book Pursuit of God no writes this and let me quote no sabi ni AW Tozer Christian theology teaches the doctrine of prevenient grace which briefly stated means that before a man can seek God God must first have sought a man. Wow. That before a man can seek God, God must first have sought a man. Before a sinful man can think of a right thought of God, there must have been a work of enlightenment done within him. It may be imperfect, but it is a true work nonetheless and is the secret cause of all desiring and seeking and praying which may follow. And then I highlighted this. No, sabi ko dito, we pursue God because and only because He has first put an urge within us that spurs us to pursue Him. In other words, we pursue God because He has first pursued us. In 1 John chapter 4, 4 verse 19, kaya pala sinabi ni, ni John, no, in one of his letters, sabi niya, we love because He first loved us. Okay. I mean, nauna yun, yung pag-ibig ng Diyos. No? And then yung love natin sa Kanya at sa tao is just a, a, a merely a, a, a response, an appropriate response. And, and just, just so I would like to establish this, the throughout Scripture, Malinaw yung puso ng Diyos sa atin. God wants to be known. He doesn't want to hide from people. He doesn't want no, na hindi, hindi siya kilala. He wants to reveal Himself. But how? How does, how does God pursue you, pursue me, pursue us in making Himself known to us? Number one, He reveals Himself to us through creation. He reveals Himself to us through creation. I don't know about you. I've, I've always been captivated by nature. Who, who, I mean, who does not? Who is not captivated by nature? Who cannot help but be mesmerized or amazed, stand in awe of, of a sunset, a sunrise, of of the starry host in the night sky, diba? of of the moon, in its <laughs> in its fullness. I mean, eh, of, of of a rainbow. How many of you had had to somehow stop and then just you know, stare at, at God's creation? And hindi pweding, hindi pweding hindi mo maiisip ang Josie. Eh. Yeah, that, that sense of awe, that sense of wonder. Okay. In Psalm chapter 8, verse 1, verse 1 and verse 3 and 3 to 4, O Lord, O Lord our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your majestic name. Your glory is higher than the heavens. And sabi dito, look verse 3, When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? You know, the, the psalmist cannot help but stand in awe. Sabi when I look at the night sky, the stars, I, I, you know, how I, I would, I would dare for us sometimes to just come out and just look at the wonder of creation. I, I think today, you no, know, what 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 the devil has been doing is try to hypnotize or or you know, uh, you know, lure. No, humanity towards no, the material things. I mean, 
can you imagine how many young people today are more hooked up on their computer games and, and probably never even get to appreciate how how beautiful the sun is, the sunset is or the sunrise di ba kasi na, nandun lang sa ano eh and yet God has been calling out to you Job chapter 26 verse 7 to 14 sabi dito ni Job he stretches out the northern sky over the vast reaches of emptiness he hangs the earth itself on nothing by the way this is amazing how did Job even how can Job and by the way do you know that Job is the oldest oldest piece of literature in the world older than Iliad and, and uh, you know, Odyssey by Homer. Job is the oldest you know, literature, piece of literature ever recorded. <laughs> and how in the world did Job knew that the earth hung on nothing? That the earth hung in space? <laughs> Sabi dito, He binds up the waters into his cl- into his clouds, but the clouds does does not burst from the strain. He conceals the side of his throne and spreads his clouds over it to hide it from view. He has encircled the waters with a horizon boundary, the line between day and night, light and darkness. The very pillars that hold up the sky quake are astounded by his reprisals. By his power, he still the sea, the quelling chaos. By his wisdom, he pierced Rahab, evil of the sea. By his breath, the heavens are made beautifully clear. By his hand, that ancient serpent, even is as attempted, even as it attempted escape, is pierced through. Verse 14. And all of this, all of these are but mere edges of his capabilities. We are private only, a whisper of his powers. <laughs> And yet, yung, yung beauty daw ng creation is still nothing you know, you know sabi ni, ni Job dito it's, it's limited it's limited but that's what he does he reveals his, himself to us through creation no? Romans chapter 1 okay, verse 20 for ever since the world was created people have seen the earth and the sky through everything God made so they can clearly see his invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature so they have no excuse you know, even No, you might think like, what if? Have you ever asked you no know, this question? If if eh, if if you're a thinking Christian and you you probably tried to thinking yung pano yung mga hindi walang Bible walang no, well there there's the answer for you. So sabi sabi dito de, no no one no no one is excused from the knowledge of God. Why creation? reveals God. Okay. Creation makes, no, sabi dito sa, sa The Voice Translation, from the beginning, creation is its, in, in its magnificence enlightens us to His nature. Creation itself makes His undying power and divine identity clear even though they are invisible and it voids the excuses and ignorant claims of these people. Psalm 19 verse 1 to 4 The heavens proclaim the glory of God The skies display His craftsmanship Day after day they continue to speak Night after night They make Him known Di ba? Day after day they continue no, God's creation speak Night after night They make Him known They speak without a sound or word Their voice is never heard Yet their message has gone throughout the earth, their words to all the world. God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. He pursues us. He reveals himself to us through his creation. Number two, he pursues us and reveals himself to us through our consciences. One thing that is truly distinct about the human being is that we have this conscience. We have this sense of right and wrong that we cannot escape. No, dogs don't have that. Okay? Monkeys don't have that. 
whales don't have that. But human beings, no, we are grieved. We, no, na, alam natin pag may mali. Romans chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. Even Gentiles, that's who, that's us, the rest of the world. No, during during that time, no, uh, of course the 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 Jews, no, they they simply divide humanity between Jews themselves and the Gentiles. So, sabi yun, even Gentiles who do not have God's written law show that they know His law when they instinctively obey it, even without having heard it. They demonstrate God's law. No, God's law is written in their hearts for their own conscience and thoughts either accuse them or tell them that they are doing right. I'm sure you would have to agree with this. No, why do human beings have a sense of morality, a sense of right and wrong? No, why do we have a conscience? Nalulungkot, nag-grieve tayo pag somehow may alam mong nagawa kang mali, pag may nasaktan ka. Eh, because it is God, still, still, no, revealing Himself to us in our conscience, in our hearts, no matter how deceived and wicked no, our hearts may be, but God is pursuing us. Thirdly, and most importantly, He reveals Himself through Jesus Christ. He pursued us ultimately through His Son. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, sabi dito, Long ago, God spoke many times in many ways to our ancestors, to the prophets. Dati daw, yun nga, the, the God's way of speaking to people, of, of revealing Himself. Yun yung heart nga eh. No, throughout scriptures, no, yun nga, He has been revealing, showing Himself. Okay, why, why, why Egypt at that time when when uh, the, you know, the the Israelites were, were in bondage, you know, to show uh, Egypt was the most powerful nation in the world at that time. And what happens in Egypt is broadcasted to the rest of the world. And, and what God was showing was, I am a powerful God that not even the most powerful nation, the most powerful being, you know, Pharaoh at that time, you know, is no match for who God is. God was revealing Himself. Hey. He has spoken to times, many times, in many ways to our ancestors, to the prophets. And, in, and now, in this final day, He has spoken to us through His Son. God promised everything to the Son as an inheritance. And through the Son, He created the universe. Colossians chapter 1, verse 26 to 27, one of my favorite verses. No? Colossians 1, 26 to 27, Sabi that the mystery which has been hidden from ages and generations, but now has been revealed to the saints. To them, God will to make known. Check this out. To them, God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. God has always willed this. That, that you may know Him. That you may know Him personally. He seeks you. He seeks us. He pursues us so we can know Him. So that we can enjoy Him. Enjoy His presence. Enjoy His, his relationship with Him. Again, you, you look at the whole Bible, how God seeks us. No? Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11 to 13, sabi yan, For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself will search and find my sheep. No, God, heart ng Lord. We see Jesus no? in, 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 in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Sabi ni Jesus, no? For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. I don't know about you, but, but I, I feel a great comfort with that. That God, that Jesus came 
to seek those who are lost. And I guess maybe there's no? how we wish that we no? sino dito ang madalas yung nawawala ang isang bagay. <laughs> I, I'm guilty of that. Like, you know, sometimes I would lose my keys several times in a week. And then I realized that we assume, you know, it, you know, it's not only one time that you get lost, right? Maybe in this pandemic, maybe in this last several months, no? Maybe you have, you have, you have been lost. You felt lost. You are at a loss. Praise God because Jesus came for that reason. He didn't came for those not needing no, not needing to be found. He, he came to seek those who are lost. He came for me, he came for you. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 13. That parable, no, sabi ni Jesus, if a man has a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, what will he do? Won't he leave the 99 others on the hills and go out to search for that one lost? That's the heart of God. That's the heart of God. Kami, iiwan niya pansamantala ng 99. And he will look for that one that is lost. I don't know. I, somehow God how can God care for just one Think about it. I mean, well, from a human perspective, I mean, I still have 99. I'm good with 99. But he leaves the 99 behind. Not, not that he doesn't care for the 99. The 99 are okay. The 99 are doing good. The 99 are safe. Thus, he leaves them and pursues and seeks that particular one, that particular one who is, who is lost, who is in danger. And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he will rejoice over it more than over the 99 that, he, that didn't wander away. God, God desires you know him and has been pursuing us pursuing you let that let, let, let those words sink in right now yeah, God has been pursuing you in his creation I'm sure you had times when yeah, you, you were just probably hanging out with your friends, maybe your, even your worldly friends, and then you just had a moment. Maybe you even tried to ignore it. Maybe you tried to shake it off. But you know, 
he was there. You knew he was letting you know that he was there. That sunrise, that sunset, that wave, that rainbow that you saw reminding you. You cannot help but think back that that rainbow meant covenant. When you look up the sky, you cannot help but think those were the same stars that Abraham saw when God promised him. The multitudes. And you might have tried to ignore and even keep on running away, but somehow you knew. He was there. He is there. He is continually in hot pursuit of you. The moments where you were getting a sense of conviction. The Bible says, do not harden your heart. In the book of Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 to 8, Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your heart as in rebellion. You hear a song. It might even be a secular song, but somehow it speaks to you. You hear a line from a movie and you cannot help but think that God was speaking. Because He is. Because He is. He continually reminds you of His Son. Reminds you of the cross. Reminds you of your encounter with Him. Because before you actually decided to pursue Him, He has already been pursuing you. Before you even decided to love Him back, He has already loved you. Before you decided that you want to know Him, He already knew you. He knew you. He he knows your name. Sabi sa Jeremiah, I have loved you with an everlasting love. With my kindness, I have drawn you. I have loved you with an everlasting love. When you go to the fire, Sabi ng Lord, I will be with you. When you go through the waters, I will be with you. I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. He calls you by your name. You are mine. I want us to right now just let those words sink in. go ahead ask the Lord to forgive you let his loving kindness bring you to repentance he doesn't want to bring condemnation he wants you to bring you to repentance Forgive us, Lord, if we have if we have heart in our hearts. Lord, forgive us for the many times we have tried to ignore your voice. And yet, Lord, hindi ka nagsahawa. Hindi ka napagod, Lord. Lord, right now, 
Lord, I pray, Lord, that indeed you pursue, Lord God, you continually pursue. We pray, Lord God, that Lord, that everyone would just come to that realization that you have been pursuing them and loving them, that you have never given up on them. No matter how much we have given up on you, Lord, you have not given up on us. No matter how much we have given up on you, you never gave up. And you have not given up. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that, that Lord, there would be a fresh awakening, Lord God, to, to everyone who has given up because you have never given up on us, Lord. Lord, let your presence, Lord God, right now be all the more evident, Lord God. Let, let, let creation speak, shout, call out, Lord. Let our conscience come to a conviction. Lord, let, let, let the revelation of your Son, Jesus, Lord God, your, your love on the cross for us, Lord, continually pursue us, Lord. 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 God. Lord. Jesus. Go ahead, just, just soften your heart. Just break your heart before the Lord. God, Lord. Lord, Lord, thank you, God. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon, that you have never given up on us. And may we always be reminded, Lord, that you will never give up on us, Lord, that your goodness, Lord, keeps on pursuing us. Lord, that your love, Lord God, keeps on reaching out to us, Lord, a love that is patient, Lord, and has always been waiting for us, O oh God, Lord. Lord, Lord, just respond to the Lord. Respond to that love. Respond to that grace. Respond to His faithfulness. Thank the Lord right now. Lord, God, Lord, we just want to know you too, Lord. Just go ahead, just, just tell the Lord, Lord, we want to know you too. Lord, Lord, we want to know you. No more of your goodness. No more of your grace and your mercy, Lord God. Lord, 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 in Jesus' name, God, Lord, Lord, God. Oh, I just respond to the Lord if you just feel like kneeling down wherever you are. Just, just, oh, I just respond to God right now. Just worship God. Just worship the Lord. And 
darkest night You are close like no one Oh, I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived in the goodness The sun that rises every day 
You are so faithful, Lord, you are faithful, the life that you bring in every rhythm that I read. You are so faithful, oh Lord. Like a rose that comes alive every spring, you are so faithful, Lord, you are faithful in the life that you bring in any breath of every You are so faithful. I see the cross and the price you have to pay. I see the blood that washed my sins away. Yeah. And in the midst of the storm, through the wind and The stars refuse to shine, and time is no more. You are so faithful, you are so faithful, oh Lord. Like the sun that rises every Thank you, Lord God, for never letting go of us, for never giving up on us, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. And Lord, right now, we just humble ourselves and soften our hearts, Lord God, to respond to your love. back, Lord. Lord. Just, 
just so we can we can further appreciate you know, what, what we have heard from from God's word, from the verses that we read on the next couple of minutes, no. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to I want you to grab your 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 notes, your pen and paper, your notebook. And I want you to write to go to at least three three things, three circumstances, events, situations whereby na realize mo that God was there. God was was speaking to you, was pursuing you, probably even a time that you were completely ignoring Him, you were running away, or you were just you were just not aware, but then He was just there seeking you, pursuing you, loving you, loving you, comforting you. Maybe it was a time of deep pain, of trial, going through a fire, going through deep waters in your life, the loss of a loved one, uh, uh, not passing uh, an exam, being heartbroken. And yet, it was at that moment somehow that you know He was there. His word was there. Okay, go ahead. Just, just, I want us to spend a couple of minutes just doing that as, as we just worship the Lord. I just just start writing. Just if you don't remember, ask the Lord to remind you. Just just ask the Lord to remind you right now how good He has been. You know, this is this is important, no? Because it's ni ginawa ni Jacob. He made an altar. He made a, a marker. And, and you will see that, no? Because we have a tendency to forget. We, simply, we have a tendency to... But, but I want you to write this down because it's an event marker in your life. You know, to, to be reminded na, oh nga, no? Oh nga. Right? God has been there. God has, God's faithfulness has prevailed over my life time and again. No? And... and And, and you know, those markers will, will one day you know, call you back to that place. You know, if, if you know the story of Jacob, God has just kept on calling him to that place. You know, paulit ulit, you know, the Lord reminding him of his promises. So, you know, and, and then, so that's why I want you to write it down. Just, just think and ask the Lord, ask the Holy Spirit you know, to remind you. The Holy Spirit is, yeah, ask the Holy Spirit. Just maybe three, just three things so that you could appreciate God's goodness in your life of His pursuit of you, His love for you. Lord, you search me How you know me You perceive my every thought from afar In all my wandering, still you love me. King of glory, you pursue my anxious hour. Even when I'm not your faithful, even when I doubt your truth, thoughts, even when I'm lost, you won't let me go. Try your grace, no matter where I am, I'm not far from more. Yeah, maybe we, but you're able, even when I'm not your faithful. I just throw yourself into his arms. 
I believe the Lord is just calling some of us back right now. You might even be watching this from a replay, but the Lord is speaking to you right now. God is just calling you back. Go ahead, just, just throw yourself into His arms. Don't harden your heart. Break your heart before God. He is there. He's a, he's a Father waiting. Let your love right now wash away all our doubts, all our fears, all our condemnation, all our guilt. Right now, let the blood of Jesus just right now wash you, make you pure, purify your heart, take away all your anxiety. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is cleansing you right now, taking away your guilt, taking away your shame taking away your heart of stone, giving you a brand new heart of flesh. You might think that you've done this before, but then God is a God who's continually working in you. His mighty power at work in your life, not letting you go because you are His child. You are His son. You are His daughter and nothing can change that. Nothing in this world can change that. The Word of God declares Nothing can separate you from His love. No, nothing in this world, not angels nor demons, neither height nor depth. Nothing in this world can separate you from His love. Lord, yes, God, right now, God, let us just be a forgiveness. The Lord is releasing forgiveness. Right now, I believe the Lord is just telling you, you are forgiven. You are forgiven, my son, my daughter. Let's God, let, let God's forgiveness right now, like, take away all those guilt, those fears, those anxieties, those doubts. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we cast away doubts, Lord. Lord, we speak faith, Lord God. We, we, we drive away unbelief. Lord, right now, you are even breaking chains of bondage, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let those chains right now be broken, Lord. Lord, I'm speaking deliverance over your people right now. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Lord, you are setting us free. You're setting us free, Lord, from every bondage, bondage of lust, bondage of immorality, bondage of every kind of addiction. The Lord is just right now setting you free, setting you free. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Lord. Lord, let your presence fill our hearts, fill our place, fill our houses, fill, fill the rooms, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God.
let me go. to partner with the work of God with the work with His Spirit you know God, God is God is pursuing people but I believe you know God, God and amazingly partners with us and, and I want us to uh, I want us to pray I, I know that you know people that they've, they've somehow lost their way in this pandemic they, their hearts have grown cold your cellmates your friends your mem maybe members of your family okay. churchmates they, they they used to love God they, they, had, they were once on fire but somehow they've lost their way they've lost their fire and so right now I want you to Let's partner with God. God, God is not God. God we, we may have given up on them. We, we may have lost faith in them. But God has not. God has not. And so I want us. I want. I want. I want us to pray. I want you to think specifically of names of of friends, family, cellmates, and right now, after a prayer, go ahead, intercede in your spirit. God, go ahead, pray, lift up, lift, lift up their names before God. Just, just partner with the Holy Spirit. God is at work. God is at work, and your prayers, your prayers right now are, are, are at work. As you lift them up, as you go ahead, just, just as you seek the Lord in prayer for them. Go ahead, the Lord is working right now. Holy Spirit, Lord, we lift you up. We lift you up, these people, Lord. Go ahead, mention their names. God, Lord, 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 God, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, we call upon you, God, a covenant-keeping God. Lord, and, and we, we, we speak right now to these brothers and sisters of whom we, we are in covenant with, Lord. We remember them right now, Lord. And we intercede, Lord God, Lord, that, Lord, Lord, the power of Satan over their lives will be broken, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, that the power of darkness that every bondage right now, every hardness of heart is being softened right now. In the name of Jesus, we go against every spirit of darkness, every spirit of bondage, every spirit of unbelief. We break every heart and heart. We break every spirit of pride. In the name of Jesus, we cast out. We cast out fear. We cast out anxiety. We cast out lust and immorality. In the name of Jesus, we cast out every addiction. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And we pray for a deep work, a deep conviction right now. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Lord. In Jesus' name, God. God, God, Jesus, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, go ahead, just, just as you're being led to cry out, just intercede, intercede, God, God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we, we also pray right now for your continuous covering upon your church, Lord, against this, 
this virus against this COVID-19, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, if there are any people, Lord God, members of our church, our family, Lord, or even, Lord, uh, our friends from other churches who are who might be sick, we pray for healing upon them right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we pray that people who lost their hopes, who lost their jobs, Lord God, Lord, would find their hope back in you, Lord God, would be encouraged right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we, we speak healing, God. We speak healing, not, not just, Lord, to those affected by COVID-19. We speak healing, Lord, for, Lord, for those afflicted by cancer, by heart ailment, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, uh, Lord, affected by kidney disease, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we, we declare healing, God. You're a God who heals. You're a God who pursues and shows yourself, Lord God, a miracle worker, Lord. We speak, Lord God, miracle to those who are needing miracles today in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare healing for cancer. We declare healing, Lord God, for kidney disease, for lung disease, Lord God, for heart disease. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Lord, for you are a God who is not only faithful, Lord, but you are a God who is a healer, Lord. You are God, Jehovah Rapha, Lord God, the God who heals, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Lord. Now I just begin to thank the God. Thank the Lord right now. Thank you, Jesus. this night pray for the whole week Lord God that all the more we will know you we will experience you we generally stare a hunger let that hunger build up Lord God in the name of Jesus Father we thank you Lord we give you praise we give you glory in Jesus name we pray Amen you're watching Destiny Church. If you would like to check more resources or donate to this ministry, you can download the Destiny Church PH official app or log on to www.destinychurch.ph.